Today, James and I are gonna try the entire Starbucks menu. We got the top 11 drinks, and we got a bunch of different assortment of foods from Starbucks. And we're gonna let you guys know what the number one food and drink is, so you guys don't have to try them all to know what is best from Starbucks. We might as well start off with the one to the right, which is... The Pinkity Drinkity. The Pinkity Drinkity. James knows... I know all about the Pinkity Drinkity. Let's try it. Rating them out of 10. It, it's a good flavor. I just don't really like the concept of putting cream with like a fruity thing. It's like I don't understand why you wouldn't just get a refresher. Right. The refre yeah. This is basically like a refresher with the cream. With cream, which yeah, like I just realized it it kind of takes out some of the refreshingness. Mm -hmm. Makes it a little heavy. Hey, you don't want to mix a, a fruity drink with milk. With cream, yeah. 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 Like that's two different drinks. Facts. Yeah. This would fall under the more of the milky. What would yeah. you rate this out of ten? We give the pinkity drinkity a 6.5. That's pretty good. I give it a 7. Yeah, okay. it's pretty yeah. solid. We're on the right? same page there. Yeah. Next, we are going to go for James. If you want to read it, what is that? We have the Grande Iced Gurt Lot. What's a Gurt Lot? The Gurt Lot? It's a green tea uh, oh. matcha latte. Matcha latte. The Grande Iced Green Tea Matcha Latte. All right, so cheers. Cheers, brother. Dude, matcha is such an interesting flavor. There's like nothing like it. Would you almost say there's no like? It's there's almost nothing no like it. It's yeah. like its own category. Yeah. Yeah. This is one of my favorite drinks here. That's actually really good. I'm gonna give this a nine. I'm on the same page. I'm giving it a nine to give it a room in case there's maybe something a little bit better. But that was absolutely delicious. Next one we have a Grande Ice Burger Shimmer. Burger? Oat Shimmer S. Oh, is this uh, the oat one? The new yeah. one? Ice. Brown sugar oat milk espresso. Oh, they've been pushing this one. This is like the new one they've been is pushing it, a lot. Is this a new one? Yeah. Hey, jo Justin can read Starbucks. This just looks like gibberish. Yeah, we gotta get in the close up. Yeah, let's like, get the close up. That's just gibberish. <laughs> Justin read that as Bro, words. I wanna go to Starbucks, like take a label with me, and I'll be like, can I have a G R I C B R S G O T M E S? You better know what that is. <laughs> you better know what I'm talking about. So, this is the new drink they've been pushing, right? It's like yeah. supposed to be like that. They've been giving out samples of this at like oh. a lot of local events. Oh, really? Yeah. They want you to buy it. Dude, the other day I came to Starbucks and I said, what's the best thing you have for a hangover? And they recommended this. Today we'll put it to the test. Wow, I feel so much better. <laughs> this, this video is sponsored by Starbucks. I'll give it a 6.6. .6. This reminds me of a chai tea latte. I'll give this We don't have to be on the same 6.5. Grr uh, us cha tea lot. Uh, we got a grande iced chai tea latte. Cheers, bro. Cheers, brother. Oh. Wow, that is unique. That is sweet. It is a little sweet. Tastes like Christmas. All right, it's cold. It's kind of like a more herbal matcha, but without that kind of no. How would you, how would I describe it? It's like it's kind of like herbal. It's kind of like I if you kind of could picture like herbs and milk and coffee. It's good though. Would you rank this above the brown sugar? I, I personally. Yeah. Oh, 100. percent This is an easy 8.5. 8.5. We get an eight. I actually really like this. Next, we're moving over to what is uh, this? Caramel frap. I can actually read this one. Mm. Mm. It's very, you can't, like, it's very sugary. That's a dessert drink, that's a nine. What are you giving it? Obviously, taste wise, it's like a nine, ten, but would I get it because how sugary that is? Yeah, it, that's it, the thing. Doesn't hit like a sugar standpoint? I'll give that an eight. Thank you to Esker for sponsoring this video. Esker is the world's largest smart wallet brand. They have awesome products like slim, sleek wallets, laptop cases, and even trackers to help you carry your everyday's items safely. It's so much slimmer and even way smaller than my other wallet. The cool thing about Esker is that they have this card mechanism that pops all your cards up for easy access. And they also have this tracking device. So let me show you guys how this works. This device is connected to my phone. If I press this twice, it will ring my iPhone. And that means I can find my iPhone anywhere and anytime. They also have a voice activated Siri system where I can go, hey Siri, ring my Esker. Now it's ringing. Oh, I found it. And you guys hear it? My Edsker is ringing. Found my wallet. Awesome features like this help identity theft so you can always find your wallet no matter where it's at. Because you have such important cards in there such as your ID and credit cards and debit cards. You don't want to lose any of that. So the tracker also has a solar panel on it for every two hours out in the sunlight equals three months of charge. The tracker works worldwide, so anywhere you go, you don't have to worry, you can find your wallet. They also have other amazing products like this laptop case. It is so sleek, it feels so durable, 
and the leather has an awesome feeling. So if you guys wanna check out their products like their wallet and other products on their website, make sure you click the link down in the description down below. And thank you to Escra for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back into the video. This is a strawberry cream frappuccino. See, this is living proof that strawberry and, <laughs> and milk were not meant to Mentimeter, coexist. Yeah, yeah, that's true, it separates. Yeah, because doesn't a lot of fruit have acid which congeals milk? Food science. Yeah, let them know, James. I'm letting them know, yeah. food science. You hear that? That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I got all the cream, you got all the strawberry. <laughs> we gotta get a shaker cup and yeah. it, bro. This one, we're just gonna try. It's not a fair rating, in my opinion, because I have half of the drink and James has the cream. <laughs> my portion tastes pretty good. Bro, my portion just tastes like milk. <laughs> Cause that's really good. For my taste, I give this actually eight. I give this a 50 out of 10. 50 out of 10. <laughs> this one looks delicious. Oh, it's the Java chip. You ever had a Java chip? No. So Java chip is like, I wanna say like a mocha frap that has like chocolate chips in it. So you can have like the little piece of crunch. That's uh, that's something. <laughs> what are you rating this one? Mm, I'll be honest, I don't really like this one that much. It's a kid's drink. I would say it's more of a kid's drink. I feel like I'm the older I've gotten, the less I like fraps because I feel like the whole like milk with ice that turns into water and it's like water and milk at this. I don't know, it's kind of weird. I'm gonna give it a five. I, I would give that five right now a six because I, as a kid, I would love that. It's like a freaking cookies and creams. This one is a grande ice caramel macchiato. This is one of the best drinks. I love drinks. macchiatos. That's just a macchiato. I actually kind of like it better this way, that the caramel is very minimal. Minimal. It's like a light, it's nice, like subtle. I actually really like a macchiato. Then. Well, no, nice. they're, they're meant to be really sweet. Yeah. But this is not very sweet because it's all stuck at the bottom. But I like it that way. So I actually am going to give this a nine. This might be 9.5. This is pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I like this, this a lot. This might be the best drink out there right now. All right, we got the Grande Svan Scuff Niscub. What the fuck is that? <laughs> All right, we got a grande van. What is van? A vanilla. Vanilla, okay. A grande vanilla, SC. What was this one? Sweet, Sweet cream. cream. Nitro Nitro, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> James is excited. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, that's good. That's a 10. It's not sugary. It's, it's, it's a little sugary. It's but like a very, very faint, faint sweetness. Yeah. That's so nice. Yeah, this is perfect. If you're a genuine coffee enjoyer, you, this is good. This is good. Yeah. yeah. Last two drinks we got Kiwi SF, uh, Starfruit. Starfruit Refresher Lemonade. Uh, no one has lemonade yet. Yeah. Whoa, this is an intense drink. I don't like kiwis. That's a four for me, dog. It's too much sugar. Yeah, they, it's, they need to put too much pump. They there's pump. just too much everything in that thing. Yeah. Uh, first, I'm not gonna read that. I, I, I don't think it's good. That's why I'm. Gonna, <laughs> I can't even rate. Like, cheers. Cheers. This one was a. Uh, what is this? Can you read it real quick, James? Grande Dragon Drink. Dragon Drink. <laughs> Dragon Drink. <laughs> I don't like that one. Oh, that's horrible. Uh, okay, here's the thing with dragon fruit. Dragon fruit doesn't really have a flavor. It's like, it's literally just like sugar cane. Yeah, I just don't like how they've done some of their, the only one that really works well is strawberry. Dude, you can feel the dragon drink hitting you in the stomach. Yeah, <laughs> you might just be tired. No, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty hungover, but that is, that, I don't know, man. I don't like that one. I don't think they do a great job because they make every like fruit drink so sweet. Yeah. And I don't, it takes away from Well, the I get the Grande Lemonade Refresher. Oh, and I want like something like that, which is kind of sweet, but not nothing like those last two. Those mm. were those were different. Yeah. Top two, James, for the drinks before we move on to... Nitro Cold Brew and the Macchiato. Make sure you guys stick all the way to the end because we still got food and this is very slept on. I usually don't get food, but at least you get to know which one's the Do best. Do you think the Starbucks food is slept on? Do people really like Starbucks food? I know people like to get these guys. I've never tried them. People like to get this guy. All right. They gross me out. I never eat one of those till today. Yeah, James doesn't like the weird shapes of eggs. Is this the same, Justin? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because we have two. Can I off? It just doesn't feel. This doesn't feel natural, bro. I think this is an egg cheese. Okay, it actually tastes pretty good. Wow. But I'm not gonna eat anymore because it, it, it's making me feel physically ill. Just it's looking just the idea. Just of looking it. at it makes yeah. me feel ill. I'm but that actually did taste really good. I can't be a hater. That tastes like a slab of cheese. No, it did. It tasted like like a smooth Gruyere cheese with bacon. Yeah. I'm gonna try next a turkey pesto sandwich. You ever had a turkey pesto sandwich? Not from Starbucks. Oh, it looks like it has some type of bell pepper, pesto, and turkey. 
I had a good, good drawing. Kind of dry. I feel like it's like a, I don't know, it's a five. A five? Yeah. What do you think? I, I liked it a little bit. I gave it a seven. It's edible for me. What is this? What is that? Spinach feta wrap. It has some white egg wipes in it. A lot of these things, they would be like, quote unquote, healthier. What? That's horrible. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. That's like a ravioli, like a bad ravioli. Would you say it? That's horrible. Yeah, I give that a four. Oh, I'll give that a two. A two? That's not the edible range. Okay. What is this, Justin? This is a... Uh, Double smoked bacon. Double smoked bacon? Double smoked. Mmm. 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 That is a solid. I enjoyed that. If this was hot, it would probably be an eight or nine. This one is a... don't know what this is, but it looks like a... It's the impossible breakfast. Oh. Oh, the cheese too? All right, I'm excited. I'm vegan, but this still has gluten. You're not vegan. I'm not vegan no more. I used to be vegan. You've I do never been vegan. Yes, I have. No, you Yes, I have. I have. I have seen you eat meat every month that I've known you. For food videos. I'm sorry, I didn't know your lifestyle gets put on pause <laughs> filming lifestyle videos. You're right, I'm gonna pause here. I'm, I'm gonna pause here. This one's pretty good. I give this a solid seven. All right, James, which one do you want to try? I'll try one and you try one. Oh, please let me try that one. Okay. This one looks disgusting. All right, James, we are trying the uh, lemon loaf. Mm. Mm. It's pretty bland, I'll be honest. Really? Yeah. I thought it was pretty sweet. Really? Yeah. My sweet taste buds are freaking out of the, the world right now. What'd you give that? I'm gonna give that a five. I give that a six. Step. It's, it's kind of... Sugary for me. Banana nut bread. Oh, did you want to try it? I thought you didn't want to try it. Well, I thought, here, I'll try a little bit. Hmm. There you go. I actually like that better. Mm hmm. I'm gonna give that an a eight. I do, do. I'm gonna give this one an eight. All right, you got three more items. James, you want to try the cake pop? Are you a cake pop? No, we gotta split the cake pop. Oh, you're not, you're not a full cake pop fan yet? No, I am, but I, I would hate to take that experience away from you. This one is a what kind of cake pop? This looks like a birthday cake pop. A 10, baby. Can't go wrong, cake pops. No, cake pops are so good. So easy, accessible. Just pop. All right, so these are kind of like the fake snacks. So they're not like freshly made, they're just packaged. This is a uh, biscotti. Oh, dude, who the fuck orders this? Like, actually, who the fuck orders this? There's almonds in there? Al almonds? Negative 10. Last item, but not least, dip Madeline dips. Madeline cakes. Mmm. Mmm. A four. I don't like that. All right, James, the best snack. Cake pop. Cake pop, and yeah, just for you is cake pop. I honestly really like this bacon sandwich, and the cake pop was fire, but the banana bread was top tier for me. Too. If you guys want to see me and James try KFC, click here. Until next time, you guys, peace. peace.